What's going on everybody, it's your boy Nothing But Skills and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get all 12 Hunter Masks and all 8 Ivory Keys. This is the most up to date video you're going to see that's out right now. This is going to be the video that I want you guys to share with friends if you have new people joining the Division 2, new clan mates and they don't have all of the masks. This video right here will give them the step by step. There will be a time step for every single one of these masks. So if you're looking for a particular mask, go to the description. Let's dive into the first mask. So the first mask we're gonna be tackling is the demon mask. And the reason why is because Agent Edwards support this anonymous mission is going to give us our first look at the hunters. Yes, this is gonna be one of those secret missions. You have to do this prior to being able to get the demon mask. So make sure you knock this out. Now remember the location of this mission you need to do prior to the mission to get the demon mask is gonna be right here, just west of the theater. Now, once you finish that mission, fast travel back to the theater and then come back here. So we're gonna be back in the same location. But now, if you notice, there is no question mark, right? So we see the theater settlement, we go over here, this building right here is where we need to go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna head down the stairs. So for this one, remember, complete the side mission. Once you complete the side mission, you're gonna get your first look at the hunter. I didn't wanna spoil that for you. You're gonna come down these escalators, go all the way down, follow this all the way around, head up those stairs, and then we're going to climb up this ledge on the back corner. So right here where you see like this yellow tarp, you want to climb up on that ledge right there and then just take cover right here. Now if we look up, we're gonna see four targets. We see one target there, number two, number three, number four. Now once we shoot all four targets from top to bottom, this is going to spawn the demon mask hunter. Yes, it will spawn that hunter. There you go. So the hunter spawns. All you need to do is kill him and then you will get his mask. I recommend if you guys plan on doing these, wait till you get to world tier one at least. If you want a challenge, you can do it at level 30, but I feel that once you get to world tier one, you gear up a little bit, they're a lot easier to kill. These are a lot harder to do at lower levels. So it's just something to keep in mind. And then we got our first ivory key, and then look, it's the demon mask. So this is how you get the demon mask, pretty simple to do. Do that side mission first, come back here, shoot the targets from top to bottom if we take a look at the demon mask it's a pretty sexy looking mask probably one of the coolest looking ones in the game but definitely um if this is something you guys want to pick up this is the mask right here now let's get into the second mask so the second mask is going to be the ghoul mask and you can find this just north of lincoln memorial so the lincoln memorial mission just north of it is a shade tech cache this one's going to be located underneath underground so what we need to do is all i did is since i didn't get the shade tech cache yet i just pinpointed it and then i will follow this all the way till we get underground now remember this is just north of lincoln memorial so it's hard, so easy to spot you guys will not miss this now you do need to make sure you guys do this one at nighttime after 2100 definitely um just remember that this one is one of those that you need to do at nighttime so we're gonna cut through this tunnel right here, and then we're gonna go up the stairs and to the left. Now there's gonna be an echo that you probably wanna grab if this is the first time you came down here, and then you also probably wanna grab that Shade Tech if you haven't picked it up. But if you already got both, don't worry about it. Now the computer we want is just north of that echo. So we'll grab the laptop and then look right in front of us. If we look right in front of us, there's an X, and then the little moon sign. So that means you need to do it at nighttime. So after 100, just in front of Lincoln Memorial. We're gonna take a look at it one more time. Look, the so X right in front of Lincoln Memorial. So it's gonna be located right here where it says that water resource. Now, once you make it into front of Lincoln Memorial, just head towards the construction site. So you'll see the construction site right in front of me, the water resource, and then you'll see a blinking light. Yes, that blinking light is what is going to trigger the ghost right so the ghost mask that we want to get is going to be here so take some cover whatever you guys need to do i'm going to take cover right here as soon as you shoot that light bulb it will trigger the ghoul mask hunter so finish him off he will drop you an ivory key and he will drop you the mask that we're looking for So 
once you kill him, go collect the ivory key and collect the mask. So let's take a look at this mask, right? Because we did all that hard work. This is the second mask of the day. And it's pretty sick looking, right? It's all blacked out. Has like almost, it looks like some green spray paint on it. Um, has some slashes on it because it's been to battle. Definitely, if you guys want to pick this up, this is how you guys do it. Let's dive into mask number three. Mask number three will be located just south of the capital stronghold. So if you head straight south, you will see a Shade Tech cache there. There is a road that looks like a V and you will see the Shade Tech right there. So we're gonna head straight to that Shade Tech and I'll show you another pinpoint location once we get there. So once you arrive to the intersection, you're gonna see this memorial here with a bunch of, um, looks like letters, pictures, on the memorial itself, right? So we're right here at the Shade Tech. If we head to the left of it, you're going to see an American flag, and then you're gonna see the names of all the fallen soldiers. And what you're gonna do is, first thing we need to do is shoot the light. We wanna shoot the light first. Now, once the lights are out, you wanna salute so you can stand right outside of it. Salute, it might need to take one or two times. Just make sure you salute. Come on, let's salute. Salute. And as soon as you salute, the hunter will appear. And then all you have to do is finish him off, and then you will unlock the rack mask. So let's drop it pretty quick. Drinking it was that simple. Detected. We'll get an ivory key. So this is going to be our third ivory key. And then we have the wrath mask. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this real quick. This mask right here is probably one of my favorite masks to use. Um, the wrath mask is that good looking. It's all blacked out, has a bunch of scratches on it like it's been to war and that's definitely um one of my favorite looking hunter mask in the game but now that we finish this mask let's dive into mask number four mask number four is going to be the crimson mask now this mask is going to be located in the front of a huge building that i'm going to pinpoint for you so if we look right here we have district union arena right and then if we scroll down we see the shade tech right here there's a building a huge building right next to it and that building right there is the building we're gonna to need to go into. So there's gonna be two steps we need to do once we arrive to this building. Now, sometimes you will end up seeing a name boss in here, like we're about to see in just a second. Make sure you finish off that name boss, collect that loot, and then just continue on. But you do need to make sure these guys are not here, right? So just make sure you finish them off pretty quick. If it's a name boss and you're a lower level, be careful, but it should still be pretty easy if you're geared out like I am, and then collect the loot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the first telephone. There are two telephones. If you're at the right side, it's going to have the interact symbol. So interact with the telephone and run directly across, and we need to interact with the telephone on the opposite side. Directly across from it, there's gonna be another one waiting for us. As soon as you interact with this one, it's going to spawn the hunter. And the hunter will be in the courtyard where we first fought um, the name boss if you end up having him. So just finish him off. As soon as you drop him to collect that loot, you will get one ivory key and then the crimson mask. Now this one is probably one of my favorite masks to get. I love it because it has that red handprint on the front of the mask and we'll take a closer look at it. So this one has a lot of detail to it with the whole handprint on it. Um, most of the hunter masks are all blacked out and they have just little things that make them unique. And this is the crimson one. So if you want this mask right here, just follow those steps. Pretty simple to do, but let's dive into mask number five. Now mask number five is going to be located just north of DZ South. There is going to be what is called the DC-62 Lab Quarantine Side Mission. You must complete this side mission prior to being able to get the Spectre Mask. So make sure you clear it out. As soon as you clear it out, I'd recommend fast traveling to a different location. The great thing about this one, you can do it during the day. You do not have to do it during the night like the other mask. So now that we don't have that side mission there anymore, we're back at this quarantine zone. Now, what we need to do to activate this hunter right here is going to be shooting the windows in the building in front of us but we need to do it in a particular order. So those windows right there, we need to shoot them so that way we can activate the hunter. So I recommend getting on this truck right here 
and then following the order that I'm gonna tell you to shoot them right now. So we're gonna shoot every bottom window first. So right here we hit this bottom window, this one, this one, even the one that's covered right there with that little yellow tarp, these windows up top except the black windows. So let's try it out. We'll shoot this one, this one, that one, this one, this one. We have two more. It's okay if you reload. We shoot this one and then make sure you shoot right there. That counts as a window. We have here, here. We skip that one. We shoot this one. Shoot this one. Shoot this one. And boom. The hunter will appear. I see a lot of people not shooting that far bottom right one. And you need to make sure you shoot that one. So just make sure you shoot that bottom window. Shoot it in that order and the hunter will spawn. You can remember, you can do this during day or night, so this one does not have to be at nighttime like some of the other ones. Now, once you kill them, you get another ivory key, and then we get the Spectre Mask. This one's pretty cool. It has the two cards on the bottom of the mask. A lot of people really like this one, and this was a fan favorite really early on in the game. Let's dive into mask number six and seven. Now, this one is going to require you to finish a side mission. If you look at the attic safe house, it's going to be located just south of it. It's right here, the relief camp side mission. You need to make sure you finish this one first. Now, upon completion of this mission, you will have access to the hunters. Now, you do need to come at nighttime. This does have to be done at night. So if you see the sleeping giant, if you see um, the attic safe house, this waypoint right here is where you want to be. You see a hotel. You're gonna go up these stairs right here, go all the way to the pool area. Now this must be done at night, so around 2100 is when you can come back here. You wanna get into the pool, and there's like this little platform right there. I don't know if you have to be exactly on it, but I always stand on it, and then I do the jumping jacks. As soon as you do the jumping jacks, you will get two hunters, yes. This is going to give us two hunters right here. Now one hunter will drop the Midas mask, and the other one will drop the Revenant mask. So two masks, each hunter, you'll get one ivory key. So finish off the hunters, like all the other hunters, they shouldn't be too hard. Um, I was just missing a couple shots there. So a couple shots if you're fully decked out like I am, it isn't too hard. If you want more of a challenge, I would try these at level 30 or below, and you'll see the big difference. But around level 30, it's still gonna be a lot of challenge. I was in World Tier 1 when I did this, and a little bit decked out, so it was a little bit easier. So. I get one key from both of these, and then you get the Revenant mask, which is a pretty stylish looking mask. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go pick up the Midas mask. Now, if you notice on this one, there is no ivory key. So one ivory key for both of these masks right here. So let's take a look at both of these masks real quick, just so you guys can get a quick look at how they look. Both of the masks are actually pretty cool looking. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dive into mask number eight, nine, 10, and 11. Yes, you heard me right. The next four masks will spawn at this one location. So we have the castle settlement. We have a control point just north of that. There's gonna be like a little question mark and the building next to it, right next to that contamination zone is where we want to go. I'll show you another up close once we get to that location. So once we arrive here, look where I'm currently at, right? So. This is where you want to be just north of that control point that's northeast of the castle settlement. And where that question mark is, is a Christmas tree. And we have to do this at nighttime. Now, once it gets around 2100, you will be able to do it. You'll start to see the moon and that's when you know exactly. Then another way to check is just go to photo mode and in the top right hand corner, you'll see the exact time. So what are we at, 2130? So we see the moon coming out and now what we can do is head to the switch. There's gonna be a switch right in front of us and it's gonna say pull lever. You will not be able to activate this until it is nighttime. So now that we activated that, we need to head over to the Christmas tree. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run around the Christmas tree a couple times and then we'll get four hunters to spawn and that will give us four different masks. And just keep running around, keep running around and before you know it, you'll get that special effect that you always get and just make sure you take these out. Now, if you're low level, this might be really hard because some of these hunters actually hit pretty hard. I'm able to drop two right off the bat and then I just have two more to go. One of them is actually a skill build hunter and he really hurts. His skills 
definitely hurt you and they can actually drop you so you got to be very careful with the seekers with the turret just make sure that you're um, paying attention to your health try focusing on one hunter at a time and that way you don't get confused on which one you're shooting drop them one at a time and you should be good to go i'm gonna drop this one who actually was hitting pretty hard he almost got me right he almost killed me then that's what i tell you just be very careful and i'm pretty decked out and then we just have to find the final hunter and then we can pick up all the masks and this is where we're gonna get another ivory key so he's right in front of me we finish him off and then now we can collect all of the mask so we get ivory key right here and then we get the death mask now death mask is not too much of a fan favorite but some people like wearing it i definitely love collecting all of these i thought this was pretty cool how they put this in the game we're gonna head over here we're going to get the phantom mask another really cool looking mask we have two more masks we get to pick up um remember we're not getting any more ivory keys each spawn will give us one ivory key out of all of them so right here we get the next mask which is the cross mask this one is actually pretty cool and i think a lot of people actually like using this one or use this one a lot when this first all came out and then we're going to the final one and this is going to be the diamond mask so we'll get one ivory key four masks from this location so remember every time you spawn a hunter in a new location even if there's two three or four you only get one ivory key for each interaction so we have one more mask to get and we are completely done and that will give us our final ivory key and that will give us our final mask so the final mask is going to be the longest mask and take us a couple steps we need to head over to washington monument and capture that control point as soon as you guys capture that control point you need to head down to the supply room now remember this needs to be done at nighttime so head down to the supply room open up the door you're gonna go down the ramp sorry down the rope and then once you get to the bottom of the rope you need to interact with the computer so go all the way down now that we're down um, there is going to be a couple items you can loot here but the computer is gonna be right in front of us as soon as we interact with this we're going to get a map on the screen you can either take a picture with this with your cell phone or that's what you have this tutorial for so I'll show you exactly we need to go to each one of those location and there's gonna be something we need to do so now that we know exactly where we need to go we're gonna pinpoint this on the map itself so location one of three that we're gonna to go to is gonna be just south of flooded levee control point so there's gonna be this little mark that we're gonna mark on the map as soon as we get to this control point we're just gonna go southeast and there's gonna be a grave site that we need to get to so just run straight past this it's about 100 meters away and then you're gonna see a grave site now once you arrive to this grave site we need to salute it I'm gonna show you the exact pinpoint location the exact coordinates once I zoom in so you can see so it's 1144 2607 in case you guys were wondering as soon as you get here just use the salute emote as soon as you salute it you look at the top left hand corner you start to see like a fuzzy shaking on your waypoint that's when you know you activated this graveyard so now we have one of three done we need to do the next two the next grave site is going to be located just south of the control point washington monument that we already captured so just follow that waypoint i'll give you the exact location as soon as we um get there right so i'll give you a better pinpoint location as soon as we get there with the exact coordinates and that way you can kind of play with it so you're going to see a little hummer right there um we're going to we're looking for it right here because it's kind of dark and we can't see it we're going to continue on and it's right there in front of me but i have three enemies right here i recommend dropping the enemies if you ever run into any enemies while you're trying to do this you don't want to have them shooting you in the back the grave site's right here the washington monument is right in front of us and the exact pinpoint location for this is going to be 1947 2862 so just in case of some of you guys who like using exact coordinates that way you, you need to be paying attention to so we have the monument right here and if we look the monument is right in front of us and we can see where it says unite you're going to salute this one and then we'll get that shaking on the top left hand corner so we know we activated grave number two so now we have one final grave to do and then we're almost close to getting our final mask so grave number three that we need to salute is going to be northeast of the washington monument and i'm going to show you the exact coordinates right now for all of you guys who want that so we're going to go in 
and the exact coordinates are going to be right here. So this is just north of it. It's going to be 1102 3012. 1102 3012. And it's just northeast of it. Across the street, you salute. We get the notification on top left, and then we're done. Now, the final step is we need to go back into the Washington Monument and activate the computer. Now, you have to do this when it is still dark. If it's already becoming morning time, you're going to have to wait till the next day that you're going to see right here. So I wasn't able to activate it, so we waited till the next day around 2100. Remember, photo mode is your friend. We're looking at the top right. It says 2100, so we're good to go. We now can activate the computer. So let's head all the way down. take the rope down now when we activate the computer it's going to give us a different symbol so it says interact we interact with it and then we get a circle right so it's like well what now we completed the three salutes so let's head outside so as soon as we come up the rope there's going to be a circle on the ground in front of us so right in front of us you see the circle on the ground we're gonna stand right inside of it. As soon as we stand inside of it, the hunter is going to spawn. Now this is the final hunter. This is gonna give us the ghost mask and it's also going to give us the final ivory key. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the ivory box for you so that we can see what you get. So we'll just finish this one off right here. We drop him and voila. We got the ghost mask and the final ivory key, eight of eight. So let's head over to the base of operation. We collected all eight ivory keys. We collected all 12 masks. So I wanna show you what you get out of the ivory box itself. And then I also wanna show you where you can see all 12 of your masks because they do have a showcase for you in case you don't know. So head over here to the right. This is where we're gonna see that you can open up the ivory box, eight out of eight keys. When you open this up, you get the shield splinter and then you also get the ivory die that you can use on all of your weapons. So pretty two cool things that you get. Um, if you wanna wait till World Tier 5 to open this up, you can and you'll get a higher level shield splinter, but you can always buy this later on. After you open up that box, head downstairs and I want you guys to see the wall. This wall is what you worked for. If you have all 12 of these masks now, this is what your wall will look like. This starts off with nothing and that's what's really cool about this wall. It's so cool to see all 12 of these masks on your wall after you took the time to actually do this, right? So hopefully this video gets you guys all 12 masks, all eight ivory keys. And if you guys have any questions, if there's something that you're confused about because it's not working, use the comment section down below. I hope this video was perfectly done. I hope this video has everything that you need to know to knock out all 12 of these masks. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you found these videos useful. And as always, guys, until the next one, nothing but skills is out.